When you think of landmarks that define Sioux Falls, some stand out ahead of others. There are the falls, of course, but also the spires at the Cathedral of St. Joseph and the clock tower at the Old Courthouse Museum. But near the top of the list, too, would have to be the State Theater downtown, which soon will once again be more than just a facade on Phillips Avenue, but an entertainment venue for the public. In tonight's Eye on Kettle Land, Dan Centella takes you inside the State Theater as it readies to return. When you step into the State Theater in downtown Sioux Falls, there's a sense of stepping back in time. On your typical night in 1926, there would be um, a little recital on the Woolitzer organ, and then there'd be some newsreels, um, typically the first time people were seeing picture news, um, and then there would be a short film, um, it was something around, you know, 15, 30 minutes long, not like the mega blockbusters that we see today. And then um, there would be a vaudeville act as well on the traveling circuit. That was then. Soon, it'll have a new now. Uh, we're going to be open every night. Um, we're going to be an affordable, spontaneous venue for our community downtown. Um, we're going to have 150 seats. Um, they're going to be reclining luxury seats. Um, we're also going to be able to have, you know, your standard fare of concessions, popcorn, candy, and be showing a variety of different types of film. It'll be a place to watch movies. Once we open, uh, we'll, we're going to start with kind of a wide mix of programming, all film. Uh, we'll have some classics, some repertory, a few first runs, and uh, maybe some cult favorites. We're looking at being able to do things like some panel discussions, Q&As that will go along with films as well. As far as when this venue opens, Wyland says the aim is this fall. That's our goal, and in a perfect world, it's going to be fall, and right now we're working towards that point. That's our goal. The theater opened in 1926, but closed in 1990. Now, Journey Construction is in charge of its rebirth. It's not your typical work site because it's a restoration. So we're not building from a new set of plans, we're building from an old set of plans, making look what it looked like in 1926. Okay. Um, so th there's a lot of creative thinking that goes into it. Like filmmaking, there's an artistry to it. We're used to pushing a subcontractor along as fast as we can to get it, as much work done and, and put in place as we can. Um, basically making it for profit. And this one, we're really making it for what it looked like back in 1926, so it's an artwork more than, more than a construction site. The prospective opening this fall will just feature the main level. The balcony is set for a future opening. We are working towards that with fundraising. The second and third floor as well need funds to open. Other than the fact that the chairs will be brown, this is an example of what they'll look like for the guests on the main floor. It has been open for select events. There's been a couple films shown here through downtown Sioux Falls. Uh, for Halloween, a couple years ago, we showed um, uh, Ghostbusters and Hocus Pocus, and those sold out. And then a few years before that, we showed When Harry Met Sally, um, and that also sold out. And as the State Theater goes back to the future, 1926 is approaching. Every day we walk in, something new is complete. We're checking things off the list. With Ion Kelloland. I'm Dan Centella. Check out this story at kelloland.com for a link to the State Theater's website where you'll find a blog about the theater.